Hello, I'm Taya Gurken, a senior editor here at Acoustic Guitar, and the guitar I'm holding here is a Guild F30 CE Standard. Guild first introduced the F30 model back in the mid-50s, and there have been quite a few different variations on this theme over the years. Mahogany, rosewood, and maple have all been used as wood for the models back and sides, and the guitar has been a consistent favorite among folk players. Introduced at the 2011 NAMM show, this F30 CE standard brings the classic design into the 21st century. Built in Guild's relatively new factory in Connecticut, the guitar has a cutaway, built-in DTAR electronics, and a slightly wider neck than many vintage Guilds. Let's take a closer look. The guitar is built with a solid Sitka spruce top and solid mahogany back and sides. Guild uses scalloped Adirondack spruce braces inside the top, and the guitar has a mahogany neck capped with a rosewood fingerboard. The guitar's neck has a width of 1 and 3 quarters inches at the nut, and the scale is a long 25 and a half inches. A high gloss lacquer finish and chrome tuners round out the main specs of the instrument. As you can see, Guild shows a fairly austere look for the guitar with minimal appointments, leading to a very clean and sort of business like look. The Guild F30 CE standard has a list price of $2,799 and it sells for about $2,100 on the street. Let's have a listen to the guitar. One thing that really stands out is that it has a very versatile character. I can use it to strum chords as if I was to accompany a song, kind of like this. Or I can finger pick it, uh, kind of like this, or like I played in the intro to this clip. The dynamic range is also quite large, making the guitar sound solid where I play it really soft. Or really hard. Let's check out the built-in DTAR electronics. Guild shows the wavelength system, which includes an undersaddle pickup, a preamp, and a control unit that mounts inside the sound hole. One special feature about this system is that it operates on 18 volts, which is set to increase the preamp's headroom for a cleaner sound. The current is supplied by a pair of AA batteries, which are run through a voltage multiplying circuit. These batteries are mounted at the guitar's neck block inside the body, so you need to remove or at least loosen the strings in order to change them. Here's what the guitar sounds like plugged into this Fishman Loudbox 100 amplifier. I'm leaving the EQ on the amp flat, so we're hearing a direct signal, and just as I did when I showed you the guitar acoustically, I'm going to play it both with a pick and finger style. Here it is with a pick. And let's hear it uh, played finger style. So that's the Guild F30 CE standard. It's cool to see Guild updating a classic design with a contemporary player in mind, but without losing the vibe of the original. The guitar would serve players in many styles, and I suspect that it might become a classic in its own right. You can read the complete review in the September 2011 issue of Acoustic Guitar or online at AcousticGuitar.com. For Acoustic Guitar, I'm Taya Gurken.